Welcome to The Devil's Lair with Randy Meadows and Todd Gann. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, Devil's Lair. Um, another episode. We've been off for a few weeks. Uh, I'm Randy Meadows. I know. I'm Todd Gann. And uh, welcome back, everybody. It's, uh, we've had a couple weeks off with uh, the holiday and the... Uh, 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 well, I hope everyone's enjoyed their Thanksgiving and didn't overindulge too much. I mean, you have to overindulge a little bit. I mean, it is the season. You do. I, I was sick over the Thanksgiving holiday, and I think our last podcast I was sick. And right. I'm still fighting it somewhat. So, and... You know, the good news is everybody else I know is sick too, so I'm not alone. But um, but we're uh, we're getting through it and working back and getting back to the podcast because uh, the podcast is. I mean, there's a purpose for this podcast, right. and it's building, helping build our community around our athletics and and our athletics around our community. Right. That's right. So <clears throat> we appreciate all the feedback and all all the good info that everybody's given us. I've had a lot. I know you've oh, had absolutely. a lot too. Yeah, I so, have. Well, we, we appreciate all of you, right. and thank you all for tuning in. You know, and, and you know, speaking of feedback, um, you know, some of the guys, uh, you know, my son's age, they've they've made comments. Uh, some of those have watched the program, too. So, you know, we're getting some of the kids watching it, and uh, that's a good thing. They're, they're spreading the word and getting it out there, and so it's uh, it's good. It's um, all good. It's all about them. Yeah, right. We uh, It's good to get that young demographic in here, you know, the— what is the prime one? Eighteen to thirty-two or something? I don't know. Some crazy demographic, but we take all comers, any and everybody. That's so right. that's right. That's exactly right. I'm not going to say there's a, a an age too young, but there might. I mean, there might be. Right. You know what I mean, right. we we don't that's get right. crazy in here too that's much. Right. We, that's right. We might say some stuff outlandish, but right. I'm, I'm learning that. Uh, got to watch what I say and how I say it sometimes. So <laughs> there's a time and a place, Randy. Time and a place, and that's uh, that's my big goal for the week. A time and a place for everything. So oh, absolutely. sometimes my big mouth gets me in trouble. Sometimes it gets other people in trouble. So <laughs> yeah, it's when it gets other people in trouble. That's <laughs> that's that, when that, I have that's to... when it creates a problem. Exactly. So uh, <laughs> anyways, that's a story for another day. But uh, anyways, what you want to start with today, man? Well, you know, um, football season still, you know, plugging along there. We got two weeks left. It's uh, still lingering, isn't it? You know, it? we got the semifinals this week and the uh, finals uh, the following week uh, up in the Georgia Dome, which we talked a little bit about earlier. Uh, our likes and dislikes of the dome, but uh, semis this week. Um, you know, last time we were here, we were kind of um, prognosticating a little bit who would be there and who would not be there, and um, you know. Camden got beat. You know, I think a lot of folks may have been surprised at that. Grayson's out. Um, you know, um, Cock was still in it. I kind of felt like they might be, and they are. Yeah, we did. We really thought that they would they would hang around until the end, and, right. and it's kind of working that way. But, exactly. Um, they are playing Norcross. Norcross in Norcross this Friday night. Exactly. Um, I looked, and it's on GPTV. I right, yeah, right. So that'll be the game they carry live <clears> on TV this week. It'll be televised, right, and right. I'm excited for oh, it. Oh, I know. I, You know, um, since uh, Tiff County kind of got um, their season ended earlier than we wanted, uh, you know, Cockwood kind of made it there. And since they were kind of the Lone Rangers other than Canada, I've been pulling for Cockwood. Oh, well, it's you know, hard not to. It is. Um, you know, Region 1 out. I will admit, I was having a tough time pulling for Canada. They're new to the region, and I just <laughs> feel like they're still, they're not part of the region yet. You right. Know? So uh, I've been pulling for Cockwood the whole way. Yeah, I understand. Um Bear with me. I'm trying to send somebody a text so they can get logged on. That's right. I understand. And, uh, you know, that people want to watch, and we want to be able to tell them how to watch us. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. So, um, so yeah, I'm a little disappointed Camden's out, but it's bittersweet for me. Yeah, it It'll is. It'll be easier as they the longer they're That's in. exactly right. Well, and I think the thing is, you know, they came into the region, and they felt like they were invincible, and, um, you know, and, you know, they got, got upset by Cockwood, you know, and uh, found out they were not invincible, and then got on into the playoffs there, and um, ran up against. Um, help me out. Who? Who? They played uh, not North Gwinnett. Um, geez, who did they play? Last I, week? you know, Randy, I forget who they played. Mill Creek. No, I thought you had the list. I, I don't have the brackets here. I'm sorry, but anyway, my printer quit today, so. I ran out of yeah, my, of my printer quit too. <laughs> um, they uh, so, but anyway, they got uh, 
got it uh, handed to him last week in um, Sandy Creek. I can't remember who it is. I'm I, sorry. I, can't, I can't either. You know, I, I apologize. But anyways, they they got beat. They ran into somebody who hung with them, and exactly. You know, and I you know I watched them a couple times. Of course, watched them play Tiff County. Uh, watched them play Lounds. Uh, watched them preseason. You know, they're good, great team, but. I felt like at some point in time they're they're going to run up against someone that was you know had their number and and they did they did so um, well you know. you know they they've got a couple of uh, state championships under their belt they do but not as many as maybe they should exactly you know and um, you know coach especially with the number of college players on that team that's exactly right you know uh, coach Aaron does a great job over there they've had a lot of great athletes and um, you know they'll they'll continue to do well for a number of years uh, certainly. You know, and one of the things that I think helps them out and maybe helps some other folks out is, you know, just the sheer size of their school. I mean, they got a lot more kids to choose from, you know, and that, that, that's that got to play a part of it, too. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, there's athletes roaming the halls in a bunch of schools. That, that you're not, right. They're not out on the field that, and on the courts right. playing. That's so. exactly right. That's exactly right. <clears throat> Which so. is a shame. but It, it is. Um, you know, like we've said before, kids get one shot at an education. They get one shot at playing uh, high school sports, and when some of them fall through the cracks, you know, shame on somebody somewhere. Yeah, that's right. So, but, you know, it takes, it, it just like in everything, it takes communication and, it, it and building relationships. To, yeah, you got to build a relationship with those kids. <clears throat> and, that's right. That's uh, exactly right. So, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, we'll, uh, you know, it's all about the kids, like we said, and, you know, right. sometimes some of them just fall through the cracks. We hate that, but it it happens. Yeah, that's that's the harsh reality. So, um, <clears throat> so Norcross plays Cockwood this week. That's right. You feel like, I mean, obviously you you feel like they can go in and win. You know, I do. Um, you know, now Norcross is a tough team. They are a tough team. Um, I think you know Norcross is one of the oldest high schools in Gwinnett County. Uh, They've had a little success throughout the years, not a lot. I, they don't have a – I feel like they don't have a state championship. I don't believe they do. Um, I think they made it playoff maybe a couple times. Uh, I forget the coach that's there now. He's been there for a long time. Um, but, um, you know, I, they're going to be a good team. Um, th- if the, they weren't, they wouldn't be as far along as they are. Yeah, so, um, I agree. Um, I feel like they uh, – Norcross, I think, won a title when they were triple or – what a, right. They were down a few years back uh-huh. in the lower uh, right. um, the different classification. Different lower classification. That's exactly right. That's exactly and I right. think they may have won then, but right. Right. don't hold me to that. Right. So um, you know, <clears throat> gonna be a good game. Um, you know, I, I you know, I'm I'm pulling for Cock County. You know, yeah. I, I really am. Uh, Coach Propes, uh he does a great job of uh, coaching those guys up when it gets late this late in the season. So, you know, we'll have Cockwood and Norcross, um on the left-hand side of the bracket, you're going to have uh, North Cobb and Lovejoy. That Lovejoy team's got a lot of D1 uh, players. They do. You know, they're 12-1 and one on the <clears> season. <throat> North Cobb's 11-2, and two, and uh, that, that's going to be a good game, too. It, it is. I watched, um, I've watched Lovejoy earlier this year, and they mm-hmm. looked really good. And I was pleasantly surprised with how they played. Right, right. And typically Lovejoy, I mean, they're a pretty good size they, school. They are. They really are. And, um, you know, they, they've, they've had some success here and there. And mm. uh, not only football, some other sports too. You know, they, oh, certainly. You know, they got a lot of athletes up there. Yeah, they do. But the size of their school, man, like you said, they get to pull a lot of different athletes right. and a lot of different That's kids right. out That's, of there. That's right. But the, for the size of their school, though, you would think that they would have more titles and stuff like that right. in their programs. That's and right. They, they don't. They just kind of hang around. So. They do. They do. And, you know, I think historically, you know, in the past, you know, a lot of your Atlanta schools, you know, didn't have the titles that some of the South Georgia schools enjoyed. And, you know, in the last few years, I think we've seen a little bit of shift in that. Um, you got uh, a little bit better athletes up there. You know, of course, a lot of folks say that you got a little bit better recruiting up there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's probably more competitive. To say oh, the least. Well, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. You know, and well, that area just exploded in population. You know, oh, yeah. You know, and you got a lot more kids up there than what, what you had at one time, and um, so it, it's uh, very competitive. <clears throat> and you got all these different schools, like in Gwinnett County, they're competing for these kids to go to their schools. You know, they're trying to offer them, you know, the best facilities and best opportunities for them to maybe play at that next level, what have you. So. Um, it's competitive. It really is. Yep. I agree, man. It's kind of tough. And, and I don't understand how people can just up and just move. 
You I know, mean, just I understand you want to do whatever's best for your kid, you, man. I, I, I totally understand I that. But sometimes you got to ask yourself, just up and moving every year and going to a different school. Just is to that, go to a different school. I know. Yeah, is that I, good, really good for your kid? Well, you know, I, of course, you know, growing up here in the South, you went to the same school, same school system, you know, your entire public school career, you know, and you knew everybody. And, um, you know, I'm one of those guys that feel like that little bit of stability there takes you a little bit further through life. You know, you that's right. You got some roots to grow, you know, to go back to. And it's like we we alluded to earlier, building the relationships, and that's kind of you right. started at an early age around here. Uh, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, and um, that's what makes it tough for a new coach coming in. You know, you don't have those relationships. <laughs> exactly. You know, and um, you know, not only with those kids, but with the parents and the community. So you know. Um, and, and as a parent, we we've already have these relationships built with other coaches and and rest right. of the community. That's right. That's exactly and right. And sometimes we give, you know, sometimes we give a new coach or a new coaching staff a cold shoulder because of that's it. That's right. And you know, again, sometimes we get so focused on us that we forget about right. This guy's new that's too. Right. That's exactly right. That's so, exactly right. And not only is he new. You know, a lot of times they still have a family, you know, and their family's new too. So, that's right. You know, that's exactly right. Um, so That'd be kind of tough, I believe, with that life. It's Yeah, it's easy to lose focus and, and track it, of that. It, it is. So, it really is. Sure. It's hard in general to keep, you know, me and me and my, my other partner did a, a podcast Monday night. We were talking about empathy, uh-huh. just trying to. And of course, that went south very quick, but we talked about it. And, uh, well, you know, both of you talk about empathy. I'm sure it went south pretty quick. So. I can't even spell it. What makes you think I can talk about it? Uh, <laughs> but empathy. It starts and, with I. It doesn't. <laughs> and so we uh, we were talking about it, and, and it just kind of just kind of hit home. And I thought about it uh, Monday night a little mm-hmm, bit. Empathy. Mm-hmm. Just you never know what somebody going on in somebody else's yeah, life. I know exactly. And you and I have been friends a long time, and yeah. you know we've been through some situations that you know. Hey, I didn't know Randy was going through that. And that's know, right. I'm not hugging you tonight. I know that's what you're going for, but I'm, it's not happening. No, I'm not going for that. <laughs> it <laughs> rest it may happen. I'm kidding. It may happen. So it'll be a tender moment. I'm sure. <laughs> A precious moment to say the least. Precious, absolutely. So Donovan is shaking his head in disbelief back there. <laughs> just keeping it real. He's it. he's all teary eyed right now. Look at him. Uh, <laughs> I'm all shook up. I'm all <laughs> shook up. Yeah, you are. Hey, so anyway, but anyway, uh, but yeah, we never know what somebody's going through. No, man, you and, don't. And you know whether it's a kid, a coach, a student. You know, that's right. That's exactly right. Acknowledge them and, and befriend them because that's know, what we need. And that's why it's so important for these. Coaches to build a relationship with these kids. You know, um, sometimes that's all these kids have to look up to is these coaches. Um, some of them don't have the best personalities in the world, uh, you know, and they're not, they don't get closer to kids. And, um, you know, I, I think that's important. You know, if you're building a program, you got to kind of get to know these kids, know what they're going through, uh, know their challenges and um, that sort of thing. Um, you know, if you know what challenges a kid has, you know maybe a little bit better how to coach that kid and what he needs. That's right. I, I, that's just my personal beliefs. Everybody's motivated in different ways. And, and means. That's right. That's exactly right. That's and exactly and right. you got to get to know somebody to motivate them. That's right. I mean, you know, someone like you is not motivated by money because you got so much money. I'm loaded. I'm um, absolutely loaded. You know, so that, you have to use something different to motivate something them. Something different. That's like right. Twinkies or My Lady Bakery Donuts that motivates me. <laughs> So I'm just throwing out suggestions <laughs> for the people watching. So, so anyway, so anyway, but you know, semifinals this weekend. Yes, um, ought to be a big weekend. Um, you know, um, so you uh, you like Colquitt. So who do you like on the other side? Do you like uh, North Cobb or do you like uh, Lovejoy? You know, I it doesn't matter. I, I, you know, I really <coughs> hadn't watched either one of them. Really kept up with either one of them that much. Uh, you know, just kind of outsider looking in. I, I think Lovejoy may be. Maybe the one on that side of the bracket. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Lovejoy. North Cobb, you know, they beat Camden. That was big. I mean, it really exactly. was, it was That's huge. That's right. That's exactly right. But it, it, it had to take a lot out of them. Well, you know. So to bounce back this week and beat a team that's like right. Lovejoy, who's just as stacked. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And if they do it, I don't know if they don't go on to win. I'm right. just going to tell you right. that now. Yep. But yep. I just don't think they'll get by Lovejoy this I, week. You know, I, I don't either. And, um, you know. I feel like Cockle's going to do okay. And, um, you know, if they can get the final game, you know, the following weekend, um, you know, big things for the Packers there, you know. Um, had a lot of success since Coach Post has been there. Yeah, that man, he's changed that whole community. complexity. <laughs> that whole community's different. He has. He really has. Just one guy. Uh, exactly. You know, um, he's got a lot of support down there. There's still some naysayers, and you, I think you're always going to have that. You're going to have them. But uh, I think for the most part, you know, he's – 
that community's bought into what he's doing down there. Yeah, well, they, I mean, they should. <laughs> you know, he's absolutely gotten it done. Winning does a lot of things, doesn't it? It does, man. <laughs> you know, and I, I just wonder if you know he had a gig on MTV, his own show on MTV, and now he's the coach at Moultrie. And <clears throat> I wonder if he did not have that gig on MTV, if you would still have that support, that immediate support. Let me take that back. Because as soon as he stepped into Moultrie, man, oh, yeah, well, the whole town just was buzzed. You know, um, he had that um, star about star him. Star power. Star yeah. power, that's right. And, uh, you know, uh, when you step into the community and you already have a name for yourself, you got that 15 minutes of fame already, you know, um, it's going to bring a certain amount of excitement anyway. And, um, you know, people's going to want to want to know this guy, want to get to know him, and want to be uh, want to be part of that 15 minutes of fame, want to ride that coattail, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, that's good. Uh, your kids will get looked at if he's, oh, he's your I, coach. I, no doubt. <laughs> you know, it may, may not always be for the right reasons, but they'll get looked at. They'll get looked so, at. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's good. So, you know, well, good stuff. So you think Colquitt and Lovejoy next Colquitt week? Colquitt and Lovejoy, possibly, yeah. Um, you know. Uh, uh, I do, too. I, I'm, I'm leaning that way, but I, I'm... Something tells me Norcross is going to yeah. beat Colquitt yeah. this weekend. Um, uh, Norcross is good. They really are. And um, Did we look and see, did Norcross beat them at the beginning of the year in the, the Corky Kale Classic? They did. By uh, the last-minute field goal? I think it was about the last-minute field goal, if I'm not mistaken. And, well, that's uh, got me, that might sway me the other way. Yeah. It's hard to beat a good team twice. It, it really is. Um, and when uh, when Col- Colquitt gets a chip on their shoulder, they tend oh, to, yeah, exactly. to start beating people. You know, and I, when Colquitt was in the Dome, Two years ago, I believe it was, we went up there and watched that game. We were in Atlanta or North Georgia for some reason, man. We decided we would, you know, want to go down there and watch. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah that's right. Exactly. Y'all were there as well. And, um, you know, I expected really Cockle County to win that year, but I think some of the, something happened, like maybe hadn't Tiff County year we went up there, that you get in that dome and those kids not have been in that environment before. It's, it, they kind of all struck a little <clears> bit. And, sure. You know, it, it's that. Environment, it, it maybe takes a little bit away from the kids, and maybe they don't perform as well as they normally would perform. I, I, yeah, I don't know. So, I, I, you know, if Cocker County gets to the dome, I, I wish them well, and I uh, hope that doesn't cause them a problem playing in the dome. Yeah, me either. I wish I could be there, but I, I won't be able to this year. So, um, it's my kid's birthday, and that's going to be way more important than Moultrie <laughs> playing in the dome. Uh, that's right. Dome. That's exactly so, right. That's exactly um, right. And that's, we, our, uh, and that's our weekend to work. Just thought yeah, I got to work too. <laughs> This is where you put music that's like sad in the background. That's what <laughs> I figured you might have something over there. You just hit a button and all of a sudden uh, violin starts playing or something. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, anyway, so that's well, right. what else you want to hit on? Well, you know, season <clears throat> is kind of wound down. Um, you know, apparently the coaches got together recently and they selected their uh, all region team for one. 6A. and um, You have a hard time with that 6A, don't you? Stick? Still want to say 1-5A. I, I still want to say 4. I want to say 1-quad A is what I really <laughs> yeah. want to say. That's what uh, I'm used to. I, you know, it was 1-quad A for so long. Yes. I still want to say 1-quad A, but uh, that 1-6A, um, you know, they got together and put their uh, all-region team together. And, um, you know, Camden County's pretty much run the board with this, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm sure. Do you want to um, – do you want to uh, – well, you know, let's touch on a little bit. Um, you know, they picked a player of the year as J.J. Green from Camden County. Um, you know, outstanding kid over there. He's had a heck of a year. It shocks me a little bit. I really thought it would be Bryce. Yeah, you know, um, you know, which he won offensive player of the year. So, yeah, well, yeah. You, you know, go. so for the region. So, you know, um, not no surprises there. Matter of fact, you know, coach of the year, Jeff Hare. Um, you know, once again, this is the coaches of the region. They got together, and that's, this is this is their choice, you know. So, um, you know. I'd like to see the ballots, though. I would. Wouldn't you, though? I'd love to see the ballots. I think uh, Tiny Giddens over in Moultrie is the uh, commissioner. He's, a, He's it, the secretary. That's exactly right. Tiny. Maybe he'll. I, he'll I know about a different he'll, name, but Tiny fits. Tiny, yeah. I know. <laughs> Kevin's his real name. Kevin's his real name. I've, I've only known him as Tiny for as that's long as right. I, when, ever since he's been coaching. That's, that's right. What I've that's called right. him. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see those ballots. Maybe uh, reckon he <laughs> he'll share them with us. Share, I, I doubt not. it. <laughs> I wouldn't share them with you. No, I would either. So you know, but uh, you know, Camden's well represented. Uh, Valdosta had a few folks, uh, Lowndes, <laughs> Cockwood. Um, you know, we had one kid that made uh, second team all region. That was Rashad Daniels. You know. Um, Kind of surprised he didn't make first team, really and truly. I mean, he had a heck of a year. And, he did, man. Um, <clears throat> you know, you kind of wonder if maybe 
if we had a little bit more success in the win column, maybe some of our kids wouldn't have maybe done a little bit better in this. Yeah, in this hole. and you have to think that way, you know, to just be blunt and honest. I mean, we, I, you do. You do. You really do. Um, you know, Tiff County wasn't represented very well, nor was Brunswick. You know, um, you know, Coffee County really didn't have a, a lot of folks there. So, you know, I, I think you know how you finished in the uh, region kind of dictated which player showed up on this list. Yeah, I agree. Um, it looks like it's nothing but juniors and seniors. It, it is typically, um, you know, that's everybody. sometimes that has a bearing on things like that. You it, know what I mean? It does. It really does. The upperclassmen it, tend it to does. get a nod over it the lower class. You know, and you know, I, I guess from a, a standpoint of coaches, you know, casting their ballots, maybe in the back of their mind, they're thinking, "Hey, I got this kid. He's a junior. He's a senior. I'm still trying to get him some college looks." Yeah, Let's this help will help him. him. This will help him exactly. You, you know, I think, and that, I don't know that I have a problem with that. Well, I, you know, I don't guess I do either. Um, but, but I mean, if there's a kid out there who clearly deserves just, it more, he deserves it more. That's right. If they're tied, give it to your upperclassmen. That, that's right. But if there is, uh, you know, I'm like you. If Because you can kid, always flip it next year as use this as motivation to be on this list. That's you know right. What I mean? That's right. So, you know, um, and anyway. We well, who else do we have on the list? Well. Is, you said uh, second team is. Uh, Rashad Daniels. Rashad Daniels. Right. Exactly. Right back exactly. And, exactly. Exactly. So, you know. He uh, probably should have. I mean. He probably should have went first team, I think. But, you know, he's but he didn't, man. Hey, be proud to hey, be on listen, the second team. You know, and I think we talked about this a little bit earlier. I mean, you you know, this list right here started out with a list of about 750, 800 kids playing football in this region. Yeah. You know, you, they narrowed it down to about 75 kids that's on this list. So, if these, you know, these kids that made this list, kudos. That's exactly right. So, you know, um, I, yeah, I'm proud of all of them. Proud of all of them. Yeah, me too. So, um they did wonderful. That's exactly um, right. We we do have an honorable mention, and uh, right. Todd probably won't mention them, but I will. <laughs> um, and that is uh, punter Mason Gann. And if it, he falls in this category of maybe a, an upperclassman got it, because this kid's a sophomore and is booming the crap out of the football as a punter. And if anybody who's seen or went to a Tiff County football game this year you know what I'm talking about, man. He he was he was a bright spot on, you know, a dim season uh, to to put it in as nice as I can. Um, he he did a, a remarkable job, and uh, I talked to him last night about it wasn't football, but we were talking about something else, and uh, I told him I said, hey man, look, you're a sophomore. You got two more years left to to shine even brighter and and bigger in the sky. So. And that's his chance. Like we said earlier, he can use this as motivation that next year he's going to be on that that right. number one squad. And I feel very, very well that that's what's going to happen to him. So um, kudos to him. Kudos to Rashad. They uh, both deserve their uh, their uh, nominations. Didn't we have someone? Austin yeah, McCann. Austin McCann, exactly. Austin, Austin McCann was an honorable kid. mention. Exactly. exactly. Um, it's so. another kid that uh, played very well, a linebacker right. for Tiff County. And that's he. Right. he you know, this is a kid who should be getting some looks for some now, colleges. He should be. You know, um, he's he's you know he's he's done very well. Uh, he's he's played both ways sometimes, and a heck of an athlete. I mean, he really he is um, mm -hmm. just all around athlete. He really is, yeah. and uh, you know, I'm proud that he's on there too. That's um, that's exactly you right. Know, I know uh, I know his grandmother real well, and I know she's certainly proud of him. And um, you know, good kid. Just That's a good right. Kid. He really is. Um, and we had somebody else on the list, Todd, didn't we? Uh, Randy, that was uh, all we had. Okay, I thought we had one more honorable nope, mention. Nope, that was all we had this year. And, um, you know, um, certainly would have liked to have seen a few more of our kids on there. But, hey, you know, get out and work hard, and maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll fill this roster up next year. Sounds, sounds like a wonderful plan That's to right. me. That's right. So, you know, but, uh, you know, football season is wrapping on up. <clears throat> It is. You know, it's hard to believe. Um, seemed like uh, a couple of Friday nights ago, it was hotter than a Friday night in the Devil Den. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the season was just starting, and, you know, here it is. It's over. It's, what goes on now? Well, you know, um, something's always going on, Randy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know. That, that's the thing about. Sometimes so, too much is going you on. You know, that's the thing with high school, um, you know, athletics, uh you know, extracurricular activities, there's never any downtime. Um, a lot yeah. of these kids are involved in more than one thing, and uh, they roll from one thing to the next. And, you know, of course, you, you're well aware of that. And, you know, basketball season has started up. Um, you know, wrestling has started up, and uh, we got a lot of kids involved in both of those programs. Um, you know, uh, 
it never ends. You know, we'll be talking about softball, baseball, tennis, golf, know, golf. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things, track, you know, a lot of things that are, you know, springtime is usually actually your busiest time for uh, high school athletics. Yeah. Banquets and all that kind of stuff right. going on. And That's exactly right. Honors so, nights as you get ready for the end of school year. That's right. And That's exactly right. So It never ends around here. So That's right. But, uh, you know, wrestling season, they've kicked off uh, going pretty strong. Um, they uh, had a, a dual meet over in Waycross a couple weekends ago and did pretty good over there. I believe they finished third. Um, Coach Watson's got a young team this year. He had like, quite a few kids graduate last year and uh, got a young team. Um, but uh, I think, uh, you know, got a few kids that have really stepped into some key uh, weight classes there. And, um, you know, got some kids doing pretty good. Um, I had a uh, dual match last night over in Lee County. I was over there to be, was able to watch that. And our JV wrestled as well. And, you know, we looked pretty good. We lost by one point to Lee County. Our JV? Our, our con- varsity? Uh, varsity team lost by one point. And oh, then uh, our JV team um Looked real good against Westover and uh, Lee, and then uh, our varsity was able to beat Westover. So, uh, you know, um, you know, from uh, Westover couple, used to have a stout wrestling. Program they did. Back in the they, day. they really did. Um, you know, uh, seen a lot of kids improve a lot already. Uh, they're working hard, Randy. Oh, I don't doubt it, you man. You know, and um, I don't know how many of you folks out there have ever been to a high school wrestling match. You really need to go watch one. It is. Uh, it's exciting. These kids work hard. Uh, you know, I would I would dare to say they probably work harder than some of the football players work, Randy. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a tough sport. Uh, you got to be. They don't committed. get enough accolades and they enough credit for what they do, their you know, craft and their skill. You know, a wrestler that really is a good wrestler has dedicated himself to wrestling. That's exactly right. Uh, so it's uh, it, it requires a lot of uh, a lot of self discipline. Um, you know, a lot of kids really have to watch their weight uh, out there on the mat. They're by themselves. I mean, that's what a lot of kids love about the sport. It's a, it's a team sport and it's an individual sport all in one. And that's what a lot of kids love about it. Yeah, it's the best of both worlds. It, it really is. Um, and, you know, a lot of times it doesn't get enough enough credit for the team. Part that's right. Of it. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, you know, you have, you know, three or four kids that really stand out in the season, but really, you know, it's still, it's still about the team. Uh, one big thing about wrestling in, in in this area, especially especially in, in Georgia and in the mm-hmm. South in general, is it's not as big as it is in other countries or under other other states. Right. Um, and with that, though, there's a lot of programs that have mm-hmm. opened up in the state of Georgia mm-hmm. with Shorter College, Bruton Parker, um, Life College up in Marietta. Uh-huh. Um, who else? Darton has Darton a wrestling has a program. program. Um, um, there's a college in Cleveland. Um, can't remember that. They've North started, Georgia? No, it's not. Uh, it's not North Georgia. Uh, Truett McConnell. Truett McConnell. They've just started, they've a, started a program. Right, exactly. And what that does is open up opportunity for our kids Absolutely. to go on scholarship That's exactly and right. wrestle and get an education. You know, we got a kid right now, <clears throat> Tiff County, wrestle Tiff County. He's going to Life College right now, full ride. They just started a wrestling program this year, and, you know, they were looking for good quality kids, and he got a call, and he's up there on a full ride wrestling. So, you know, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's wonderful, and the, and the opportunity for that education, that free education. <laughs> and, yeah, that's and, right. You know, all you do is wrestle and uh, maintain your weight. That's it. It's a pretty good trade-off. It so. really is. It really <clears> is. It's a good opportunity for our kids, yeah. and uh, you know, our program here in Tifton, we won region last year. Exactly. And we are on the up and up, and right. you know, we got a lot of good things going. We, we got do. some young kids in there. Well, you know, Randy, you know, we got the varsity high school program going strong. The middle school program, you know, the last three or four years have, has really turned around. I mean, they've had a lot of success. Of course, I know you're involved with the USA program. Y'all have really done a great job with that. Y'all have got a lot of kids out now that are wrestling on USA. And, uh, you know, um, you know, we just, you know, we got to get this momentum and keep it rolling and uh, keep this program moving forward. And, you know, we'll be a wrestling mecca. That, that's exactly right. Um, the funny, a funny thing, one of the biggest wrestling uh, schools in the state, and it's pretty well known, is Collins Hill. That's right. And they started by sending out email or a, a letter to, do you remember how many people it was? How many? I don't. It, it was the entire email list or uh, address list from the school system. Mm-hmm. And they sent out mail mailers to the everybody, everybody right. in the system. And they got... 
uh, they are having a meeting on a certain day. Mm-hmm. If you may think you might be interested in wrestling, come join us and see right. what we've got. They had 365, 356 kids wow. show up, and <laughs> wow. immediately they had enough quality wrestlers out of that to start a program start that a program. has been dominant. Oh, yeah, they have been very good. <clears throat> Very and, good. And they are on, you know, when you think wrestling in, in Georgia, you think of Collins Hill. Right. Exactly. And, you know, it just took a, a little bit of of, of initiative mm-hmm. and probably a whole lot of, of work after oh, yeah. that to get things rolling. Oh, yeah. So, you know, there's a lot um, of work behind the scenes. That, that's right, you man. Know, and it takes that to build a program of any kind. It does, man. Kids aren't, kids aren't going to come. You know, just out of the woodwork. Oh, you know, no, you got to uh-uh. create a buzz yourself about about That's what right. you have going That's right. on. That's right. That's exactly right. And it takes a little self promotion, kind of like uh, you know, maybe the Four Horsemen back in the old school wrestling. Oh days. yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you got to yeah. have that pizzazz. You, and do. That, you, you gotta, do. You got to have offer something. That, offer something. That's right. And today, that's tough, man. It is. Tough. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. That is tough with today's kids. Well, there's so much out there that draws their attention. And, um, you know, to, to find something like this and get a kid involved and they stick with it, I mean, it's, um, you know, you, you've done a lot of work to be able to draw them in and keep them, you know. So, but if, they, right. ever get, if they ever get sunk in. That's right. They're, know, they're there for they're a there. while. They're there. You, you know, know, kids in our wrestling program, they start at age five, mm-hmm. four and five with us in the USA program, right. the Tifton Takedown. And then you progress from there. You get mat time through various tournaments and stuff mm-hmm. that we travel and go to. Right. So when they're go in Eighth Street, uh, in middle school, past two years we've won conference. That's right. And so we've taken these kids and put them ready to to wrestle at Eighth mm-hmm. Street for Coach mm-hmm. Clark. Mm-hmm. He goes in and wins conference with these kids. Mm-hmm. Then he turns around and spits them out to Coach Watson. Right. Mm-hmm. Takes them at ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade and wins region. I right. mean, it's a, it's a good system. It is and a we've, good system. we've got it going and it's in place. That's right. That's exactly so, right. And it takes all of us working together to get there, but we're, we're getting there we're slowly getting there. but surely. That's so, right. That's exactly right. Um, you know, it, it, it's been tough, but it hasn't been hard because we're dedicated to it, man. That's There's right. A, that's know? exactly right. And, you, know, <clears> and, you know, kudos to you. I mean, you and you, you got a lot of folks who help out with that USA program. And the I have very program. little to do with it, but well, I, I am one of the cogs that help make it you know, spin y'all, around y'all, a bit. Y'all have gotten there and y'all have really got involved. And, um, you know, it, it's, you know, and the success certainly has came with it because y'all have worked so hard. Um, it, it takes a lot of work on everybody's part. And yeah. Kudos to you guys for well, that. Well, thank you, Todd. And, and I'm, I'm talking about the success, but, you know, we've, we've had some stumbles and stuff along the way. You know, we started with four Listen. kids and— We've worked our way up in in four years' time to yeah. about 50, 45 to 50 kids. You know, and, hey, listen, you think back to where you guys were practicing at and where you're practicing <laughs> at now. I know, man. It was a, it's amazing. You if, know, the if room was, would have seen where we were letting them kids wrestle, they would have uh, probably pulled us out. It was about the size of where we're sitting right now. <laughs> yeah, not very big. That's right. So, uh, and, and it cold yeah, or hot? Yeah, it was blistering hot or freezing cold. That, so. But, you know, hard work has gotten us, you know, better facilities and, and stuff right. like that and people willing to help us. People so, willing to help. That's exactly right. And, and we, we definitely appreciate that. That's so it. That's exactly right. So, you know, if, if you're out there, you're watching, you haven't been to uh, watch these kids wrestle, please try to go. Um, you know, I know you probably, you know, 8th Street maybe has some stuff <clears throat> coming up at home. Uh, yeah, I don't have their weekly schedule, right. but I, I do want to say that uh, this Saturday, the 8th, Mm-hmm. Uh, 8th Street will be hosting the Blue Devil Invitational, the 8th Street Blue Devil Invitational. Right. And it'll be at the 8th Street Middle School. It'll be starting around 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And it'll go on probably to around 4, 30, 5 o'clock. Right. Um, please, I encourage you to come out and support these kids. Um, you know, come in. Buy pl- don't eat nothing until you get there because <laughs> we need you to buy some concession stands That's right. so we can, again, help support these kids. That's right. And, um, you know, we... They sometimes having people in the stands cheering for you is is a very big oh it deal. is it is you know uh, and sometimes that makes a difference sometimes I know I know my kid he loves when people are oh yeah you know, he, exactly he says he gets a little pumped up when people are up uh, in the stands cheering that's so exactly right. and we promote you know if you're not wrestling you need to be in the stands Stand. supporting us that's exactly right that's and exactly right. Um, <clears throat> you know for the most part that's what we do right and mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. but uh, the Eighth Street program one uh, what was Today is Wednesday, mm-hmm. Tuesday, Monday. Monday. Monday, thank mm-hmm. you. Monday, they uh, they beat Pine Grove and Lee County both, wow. um, you know, on their marching towards that conference championship. Right, exactly. A uh, third one. And uh, 
they did a very, very mm-hmm. fine job. And there was there were some kids in there, and we, we talked about it because a lot of the kids at 8th Street are in our program, USA program. Mm-hmm. And we talked about it in our practice last night that nobody's going to give you anything. And, right. you know, they've won two championships, uh-huh. and they kind of walked into that thing Monday night. Thinking they they just, normally whip Pine Grove, right. whip mm-hmm. them. In mm-hmm. Lee County, they've kind of walked all over. Right. Well, they've both gotten better. Uh-huh. That's and that was, if, that and they don't think that they're not marked, they're crazy. That's so right. That's exactly they come right. in, and they, they, get, they almost lost. That's right. You know? and, but they held their own, and they, they gained their composure, and they, they jumped right back out and, and handled business. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, when you become that big dog on the porch and you bark a little louder than everybody else, watch out, you become a target. You do. You do. You certainly do. You put a target on your back. That's right. So. That's exactly right. So, you know, but uh, that, that'll be at uh, 8th Street Middle School. Yep. This Saturday. This Saturday, right. Yep. Blue Devil Invitational. Mm-hmm. Our conference tournament will be uh, January 19th. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was typically is in, is scheduled to be in Cook, but it's never in Cook. That's it's right. Always it's in Valdosta. Always in Valdosta. That's exactly and right. And so maybe um, maybe if you're down around Valdosta, mm-hmm. that then you can drop yeah. in and see them there. Yeah, it's, typically it's at Lowndes Middle School, if I'm not mistaken. That's usually where. Well, last year it was at Lowndes High. It was at, at Lowndes, Lowndes, Lowndes High okay. School. Well, that's yeah. great. That's great. The year before that, it was at Pine Grove. Pine Grove. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know a couple of years we were involved. It was at Lowndes Middle and. Uh, it gets hot and packed. In there. <laughs> yeah, it does. So it gets hot and packed. But um, we're look, we're looking forward to that. Right. But um, uh, on a varsity level, the next home match for varsity is scheduled for January fifteenth, right. and that'll be senior night. Right, so right. we obviously encourage everybody to come out right. and support the seniors right. and whatnot. And we don't get many home matches, but uh, we we need your support that That's day. Right. So well, this Saturday the varsity team goes to uh, Cook County. Um, Hornet Classic down there. Uh, it's not a not a tough trip, you know. So, uh, you know, encourage some of you to go down to Cook County this Saturday. I, they'll probably start wrestling around nine o'clock. Uh, you, know, I'm, you know, I don't know how many teams are scheduled to be there, but uh, ought to be a, ought to be a big day. Um, you know, we got several kids that um, should do well down there Saturday. Should do well. Well, good. I'm excited. I, I hope that it's a, a good turnout. And if you're in the Cook area, or want to go down and watch some wrestling? That's right. Come by our place first. That's right. And then head down there and watch. Absolutely. Catch them watch both. Watch Todd's crew down there. That's right. And uh, catch them both. That's right. That's so exactly right. If if I wasn't working our tournament, I, that's what, exactly I what I would do. I, I so, agree. I agree. So, um, the BDI is also the the varsity BDI mm-hmm. is also January nineteenth. Right. And um, we definitely are probably going to need some help and some, uh, you know. Some uh, work at getting things together for that. That's and, right. And you know, it's it's only a month away. And, um, you know, there's going to be some things going on till right. the end. We'll keep you posted. Right. But but please, you know, we need all the support and help we can. Yeah. These kids do. Well, you know, exactly. us adults will make it, that's maybe. Right. You know, and that, that's a big event for them. I mean, I forget how many teams we had there last year. Um, um, but a big turnout, a lot of great wrestling. And, um, you know, I can't wait. I'm excited about it. I, you know, it's, it, it's, just, it's a fun sport to watch. It is. It's different. And once you get in there and, and – ca- when my kid first started, it, it was like I was like, "Man, I you know I don't know about that." Right. And, uh, well, he liked it, so I took an interest in it. That's right. And that's when right. I when I did, man, I was hooked immediately. Oh yeah, that's right. That's exactly I love football right. first, but second is wrestling, yeah. and his neck is right underneath <laughs> football. You know, so you know, a little quick story. You know, when Mason came home after football season in the seventh grade year and said, "Hey, look, I, I'm gonna wrestle." Um, I'm like, "You gonna wrestle?" He said, "Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> wrestle." I said. You're gonna get out there and wear one of those singlets and wrestle. <laughs> and uh, oh, he's loved it. I, he, you know, he he loves football, but I believe, you know, I believe wrestling is actually his passion. He he absolutely loves it. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. It is. Uh, he just absolutely loves wrestling. Yep, that's so, right. But anyway, what else is going on in the world of Tiff County athletics? There. Um. Well, basketball. We that's talked right. about it. They. Uh, I think they're three and zero on the season so far. You know, I, honestly, I don't know. I, 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 I know I, you don't. <laughs> but uh, you know they beat. Uh, let's see, they've beat Monroe, they've beat Westover, and I thought they played somebody else. They play Westover, Monroe. And they got a game Friday night or Saturday. They have night. played another game though. Yeah, I can't remember. Who I, it I is. don't know who it is either. But uh-huh. but they uh, they've started playing and they have a a very very good team this year and uh, they're expected to win the region. Right. Um, but, you know, there's always somebody that's going to give well, us a fight. you know, man. Randy, and um, I, this morning I, I haven't seen it where it's at or what have you, but I understand that Tiff County, the Blue Devil uh, uh, basketball team, that they're ranked number 15 in the country right now. Well, so they you should. Know, you they know, should be. That's, that's, hey, that's great for Tiff County. That is. That's exactly right, man. That's, it's something good to be a part of. That's and, right. 
you know, when they play, they need your support too. They do. So they, get, do they do. And um, you they know. take cash money at the door. So load it up <laughs> and carry it out there and go watch them. Um, exactly. When you get back from the wrestling tournament Saturday, go out to the high school and watch the basketball That's right. game. That's right. You know, and um, you know, while we're here, I think uh, I think we want to stop and let's uh, give a shout out to Julie Connor. Oh, definitely, Coach Connor. You know, she's having a little. Some little issues right now. She may be headed home right now, as a matter of fact. I, I, ha I haven't got an update, but uh, she's been I out. Think, I think she was going to be able to come home. I think I read right. a, a Facebook update, right. exactly. and um, it said that she was her parents were bringing right. her home. Exactly, exactly. She had a bunch of drain tubes and stuff going right. on. Exactly, and, and, exactly. You know, her, our thoughts and prayers are with Absolutely. her. Absolutely. You know, Coach Connor, we certainly wish you a speedy recovery, and uh, we know that you, uh, you're in good hands, and... Uh, you know, um, what we can gather is that things look good, and you know, we want to see you back down there on the court real soon. Yeah, she's she's one of my favorites, man. I absolutely love her to death. She, uh, Her spirit is just wow. She went through the student section just high-fiving everybody <laughs> after a win, and, and, man, I was like, yes, yes, that's it. That's what we need in that's, Tiff County. That's right. I mean, you, so, you want to talk uh, about somebody getting excited? It doesn't matter, basketball, what have you. That, oh, man, she gets as excited about these kids as she does about basketball. That's right. That's exactly right. So, you know, and, um, and that's who I want my kid around. That's so. right. That's exactly right. Um, so, you know, <clears> um, but basketball's in full swing now. And, um, you know, um, I feel like we'll see some great things this year. Yeah, we will. Um, you know, like we said, we were talking at work today, winter sports, you know, what's next? Spring. Well, what happens in spring? We mentioned all the sports earlier. That's right. And, you know, it, it's flying by, man. It, it is. It is. And, uh, one day I'm going to be a grown-up, and I'm not going to know how to act. So. <laughs> well, you know, here it is, uh, December the 5th, and we'll be doing spring football before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, we will. So they're not even done playing yet. And they're not even done playing. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So. Um, well, that's good. Well, what else you want to touch on tonight? Anything? You know, um, a lot of things happening right now. Um, so football's wrapping up, and a lot of sports fixing to kick off or already kicked off, and uh, – Get into the holiday season. Um, that doesn't matter. We won't stop. <laughs> you know the you know schools out in about two and a half weeks, week and a half, something like that. And um, you know all these kids participate in these different things. Uh, they won't get much of a break. They'll get a break from the classroom, but that's gonna be about <laughs> it. Um, well, uh, there's some wrestling going on. We didn't really touch on the 14th and 15th, the Eric Hill Memorial. That's up in Loganville. In Loganville, yeah. the 18th, Coffee over in Coffee. Right. Mm -hmm. The 21st and 22nd is going to be in Fitzgerald. Right. Mm -hmm. Tournament down over there. 28th, 29th in Valdosta. Right. And then the 5th will be the Area Duels. Area Duels. And that'll be at Lance. Right, exactly. You know, of course, Tipton was able to go to State Duels last year. That's uh, right. So first time in I think about twelve fifteen years they were able to do that. So uh, that was that was great there to see them be able to do that. Yep, that was man. So you know, in state duels, you know, kind of little that that's that's where you compete as a team. You know, and the team does well. And um, you know, it's not not like state as far as individuals. You know, individually you, you wrestle to make state in you know tournament individually. Yep. Uh, duels that you wrestle as a team. So you know it's. Uh, Couple different ways kids can get to state there. That's right. That's right. So, um, what else? Wow, flown by, hadn't it? It kind of has. We're it's almost flown. at that point. That's right. That's exactly right. Um, you know, we, we want to encourage anybody who who wants to be a part of the show, who has a child uh, involved in athletics, uh, anything that can piggyback with athletics. Uh, we talked about a band member, uh, just anything in the community right. that stands out, man. And we're we're a community show. We're here for the community, right. for the for the people of the community. And um, we, uh, I'm getting a text message. <laughs> oh Lordy, um, if you're watching, we have a web chat at the bottom of the 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 page where you log in right there, and you can uh, you know. You can type anything you want on the screen right there, so I really don't have to check my text messages during our show. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, a, a lot going on. If you're a member of the band ROTC chorus, chorus. oh gosh, you've got a the club list. activity coming up, and you want to get it out there, get it to us. That's we'll right. uh, we'll we'll talk about it. Uh, if you got a product you want to promote, we'll plug it for you. As long as you're paying us, we'll do it. I promise. <laughs> so, um, and then you don't have to pay us a lot. 
That's right. It's <laughs> exactly right. You don't have to pay us a lot at all. Just, you know, just, just throwing it out there. Uh, Brother got to eat. So, um, Got to wear a few clothes. Got to wear some, <laughs> some few, a few clothes. So I've already got a comment on your shirt tonight. Oh, is that right? I sure did. They wanted you to turn a little to your left. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's product placement. And we'll get a royalty check for that, I'm uh, sure. You know, um, you know, and the guys that do that best, it's the guys in NASCAR. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right, man. Uh, you know, the cars are covered in little decals you know, and stickers. And, and, and when they win a race, I mean, it's the Coca-Cola, Chick-fil-A, Verizon, Ford, Thunderbird <laughs> with Goodyear Eagles. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, the list goes on and on and on. So. On and on and on. Yeah. So welcome to the chat there, Baseball, Baseball. 1115. Who that is? Oh, well, you know, there's no telling. There is no telling. We got so. friends in low places. So. Yeah, we do. We have a bunch <laughs> of low places. So, but anyways, yeah, I'm getting off off kilter here. Uh, Way off. Yeah, we were talking about if you have a uh, a, a person that you want to spotlight, you know, get inbox us, send us an instant message on Facebook. Uh, it's probably the best way because mm-hmm. I'm not good at Twitter. I'm just going to be honest with you. We got Twitter handles, but I'm not very good at it. So. I'm getting better, but uh, I'm not. I'm not real good at. It. I'm not good at Facebook either. <laughs> but I try. I can sometimes find my messages on there. You you got Twitter, but you you just not, you're not a tweet yet. I'm not a tweet. I'm not a. I'm a Twitter, but not a tweeter. <laughs> I don't know how that goes. But uh, me either. <laughs> but messages on Facebook, we'll be glad to get with you and get some information out. As a matter of fact, next week we hope to have uh, both of us are going to be at wrestling events this weekend That's and right. doing some recording. So we're going to try to uh, get some. Footage, footage for the that's show. Right. That's right. And put it out there and, and uh, kind of give some content to go along with what we're doing and talking about. And and like we said, showing off these kids that yeah. do so much and, well, and work so hard. You know, and I'm sure these folks that are watching, they, they may rather watch kids and watch us anyway. That's kind of creepy sounding. Isn't it? <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. There you go. <laughs> well, you, you have to say that now these days, man. Uh, you have to throw those disclaimers out there. You do. You, you know, certainly so, do. You know. So if you're watching, we may uh, we may be sending you a waiver to sign. Yeah, that's right. So anyways, what about baseball? Well, what about baseball? Well, baseball is fixing to crank up. I know that I think they got um, some 201s, what, 102s, whatever they call it right now going on. Yeah, some 2 on ones uh, going on. 2 on 1s and... Uh, you know, uh, we got a new baseball new coach. Baseball, I was fixing to say the same thing, Coach Kirk. Um, you know, was here this year, and uh, you know he's already gotten kind of ingrained in the community, and uh, I've had some things going on. Uh, I know they're on a couple of fundraisers already, and uh, you know I think uh, I think the baseball team is uh, headed for a lot of success under Coach Kirk. Yeah, I think so too. Um, they they they're going to be another group that's going to need some support. And that's right. That's right. I miss the days when the stands used to be full out there. Oh, when I was not? in school, man, and I went to a baseball game last year, and it's kind of yeah. dwindled yeah. down a little bit. But uh, we need to get some people that's back right. out there. That's right. And, and you know, baseball is this fun sport to go watch too. You know, sure. And, um, you know, it, it's a game that um, you know one inning can make the difference. That's right. You know, a, a ball here or there. You know, missed or hit. Yep. You know, can make it. Ted Williams put it best. You take a round ball and a round bat and try to hit it square. (laughs) So uh, it's it's one of the, I I love it. It's one of my favorite sports. That's right. That's exactly right. As a spectator, even I love playing it too. I wasn't very good, but I love playing it. Right. So I'm not good at much, but uh, I definitely, definitely would like to to go out there and and check it out. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Man, we're getting some more people rolling into the the chat chat room. room and, you know, here uh, we're about the end of our show. We got folks yeah, still coming in. So, still coming uh, in. I hate to wrap it up. I but, know. Uh, if you want to talk about something, type it up there for us. We'll talk about it. What the heck? That's what we're here for. Hey, I've got all night. Donovan does too, right? Well, yeah, you made it. Yes, you made it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who that is. <laughs> oh, um, glad you made it. Yeah, glad you made it. I mean, it only take an hour for you to get here, but that's okay. A narrow ninety two sixty two. I think you can go in there and even change your name so it doesn't say a narrow. You can put what you want in there, but we'll 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 work on that. We'll I'm just proud that you logged in. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just really I'm shocked. So. Uh, does my heart good? When does baseball start? Baseball starts 
Well, it's already started in a way. I mean, they're they're doing some two on one right. stuff, and you know, I don't know that their schedule's actually uh, complete. Complete yet? yet you yeah. know, um, it's it, so you know, still maybe a week or two away from having a complete schedule. So you know, as soon as we can get a schedule, we'll, we'll certainly have that available for you. And um, well, there we go, baseball eleven fifteen. First game is in Athens, Athens in February. February. Wow! So right around the corner, it will be. Um, you know, like I say, these kids, the holiday break won't be much of a break for these kids involved in some sort of sport. Uh, they'll go right on through the holidays, you know, practicing, fine tuning, and you know, getting ready. Sign up for rec ball. Uh, schedule is set. Schedule is okay. set. Okay, great, great. That's news. I didn't uh, didn't have that news earlier today. Uh, sign up for rec ball. I'm sure that's. You know, it's a little out of our domain, but uh, it, it should be coming up. I think usually January, into January, into January I usually. Uh, you know, and uh, I think last couple of years, one of the situations they've ran into is coaching. Um, you know, having enough folks to a uh, coach and just kind of delayed their seasons a little bit. So, um, some of you guys out there, you know, that um, have a little time, you know, volunteer to coach. Um, give back. Give back. It's a great way to be involved with your kids and um, give back to the community. So, I encourage you to do that. Certainly. That's one thing I know the, the rec department, I, I don't speak on their behalf, but I guarantee they uh, they want all the, the you know, they're, they're always right, needing good right, volunteers right, to help right, coach. Right, right. You know, so, you know, baseball 1115 one, one there, uh, Coach Kirk has that schedule. Get it to us. Tell him to get it to us. Or if you yeah, you can us. get it to us there, baseball 1115. That's if you right. uh, get us a schedule, we'll get it on here and maybe put a little uh, graphic up so That's people right. can see when you That's guys right. play and whatnot. Exactly so right. thank you. That. That's exactly right. You know, and I'm sure once the roster gets set, if you can get us that roster, we'll uh, we'll be happy to pass that along as well. Yeah, certainly will. Certainly will. So, what else you got for us, web chat guys? Baseball eleven fifteen. Are you a player? As in player, as in playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a teenage kid at your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know. <laughs> um, yes. Well, good. Uh, great. Great. Wow, that's good. What position do you play? Trying. Dead air. That's not uh, what you want. Live podcast. podcast. Dead air. Live podcast. Well, there's a delay between yeah, the time I, whenever you ask yeah, the question. Right. Outfield, okay, great. Super. Great. Well, listen. Well, let me give you a little advice there, baseball 1115. Chicks dig the long ball. Right? That's right. There was a commercial years ago with Greg <laughs> Maddox. Know what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds that's a commercial, good. man. It says uh, <laughs> New Year and excited. Hey, that's great. <laughs> that's right, man. Uh I'm cutting up. I said chicks dig the long ball, but look, I'm going to give you some serious advice, man. Dig in there, work hard. That's right. And if somebody next to you is out working you, then you need to work a little bit harder, you know, because I promise you hustle will get you on a, a, a team quickly. Absolutely. You know, coach, listen to what the coaches tell yeah, you. Listen to what the coaches do, everything they tell you to do. Um, work hard. Um, you know, if they say be a practice, you better be a practice. That's right. You know, um, that's, that's what they're looking at. They're looking at, you know, leadership. And who's, who's there? Who's committed? Commit, you know, if, you, if you're going to play, commit. That's exactly right. Be committed. So, well, good. I'm glad. And we wish you all the luck in Absolutely. the world, man. And uh, if you will, please tell your friends, log in, get us some information about your season coming up. And, you know, we'll try to get out there, maybe get some footage of you guys and try That's to right. put it on the air and That's and right. work from there. So uh, we, we definitely appreciate all your feedback and, and definitely you, you logging in tonight. That's right. Exactly. Certainly, certainly appreciate that. And, yeah. <clears throat> Tell your friends. Tell your mom and them. Go, Go Gators. Gators. Hold on. Hold the phone now. Oh, my. I don't even know. We one. need to find out who that is. That's Man, what I, we need to do. I know one Gator fan in Tiff County. <laughs> Maybe I know, two. I know a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Almost threw up a little bit. So. <laughs> Can you, did you just buzz them? <laughs> I like it. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. Go Gators. Uh, oh, it was Sheldon. Okay. Yeah, it was Sheldon. Oh, well, that explains a little bit. Yeah, he's not sane. So. <laughs> we, we, ha we actually know this guy, so uh, or used to know him. <laughs> um, 
Anyways, well, I guess we need to wrap it up, man, because we've yeah. been on air. We're getting knocking on an hour here. That's right. That's exactly right. And I know in Narrow TV 9262, you've barely been logged on and uh, watching, but, you know, we'll be here. Hey, glad you made it. That's right. We're, we try to do this every every other week is kind of what that's we've gone right. to. Better to show up when you can than not at all. That's exactly right. And uh, that's kind of my motto, and I believe you know that. <laughs> so um, we, uh, we appreciate all of you logging that's in. Right. And uh, if you will, tell all your friends, Facebook friends, join us on Facebook uh, and on Twitter. Is our information below us? Mm -hmm. There's our information right, right down there. there. So <laughs> <laughs> normally we have a screen to look at to see ourselves. Hey, but Apparently we did pretty good. We realized we're not very good looking and we didn't like looking at ourselves. That's so, right. Um, if you just will, just follow this information down here. Give us a call. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you have any information, you want to be our player spotlight, uh, Get with us. We'll be glad to put you on there. Absolutely. Okay? Yes, so well, I guess that's going to wrap us up. Um, I guess we'll see you guys in about two weeks. Probably two weeks. That's right. That's Sounds right. good. Now, after that, yeah, we're, we're, you know, it's the holidays, it's man. It's the holidays. We'll be here when we can. and uh, you know, I know I'm going to be out of town for a couple of weeks through the holidays. So maybe, maybe three. I have same two weeks yet. I'm going to be out? Probably. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to carpool. So Yeah. We may have to get Eddie, our friend Eddie, to drive us. Maybe, maybe. Um, we're trying to get all that worked out. He's one of his jobs he can't get out of. So um, that early morning, that one, early morning, yeah, he's having a hard time getting out. <laughs> yeah, of Yeah, that other one, it shouldn't be no problem. No problems. So we're going to have to uh, figure something out. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. We might get him a plane ticket or something. That's he can right. just drive us back. There so. you go. That'll but work. anyways, that's that's for another time. There um, you go. We appreciate everybody and their support, and we're signing off. We'll talk to you later. Hey, listen, as always, go Big Blue. It's all about the tea. of the Anero Media Network. Your reality distorted.